Hi, I'm Kelly McFarland. I'm the Youth and Family Ministry Director at Unity of Wichita. And I have with me today Nevin. Nevin, we're going to talk about something today. And do you ever have really bad feelings or do you get mad sometimes or sad or frustrated? Does that ever happen to you? Mm-hmm. Does that happen to everybody? Mm-hmm. Have you ever had a bad day where like one thing goes wrong and then another thing goes wrong and it seems like a whole bunch of things happen and you get in a bad mood? Yeah, what do you, what do, you do when that happens to feel better? Do you play with your toys? With my dog. You go with the dog? dog? Animals really help a lot. There's a lot of things you can do, but you know what? When we get those really bad, bad, bad feelings, I mean, everybody gets them, and it's okay to be mad or sad or frustrated, but sometimes you get tired of being that way, don't you? And so then you got to do something to change it. Um, you know, we, in Unity, principle number three says that our thoughts create our experience. So if we change our thoughts, a lot of times we can make things better. So, um, and, or if we change our thoughts, we get an idea, I'm going to go play with the dog, or I'm going to go play with the toys, and then that might make you feel better. Let's pretend like this is your emotions. This water is your how you feel, and you feel so good, and you can see right through it, nice and clear. But pretend like... Somebody makes you really mad and take that red coloring and put a couple drops, just a cup in there. Okay, that, oh, that's good. Okay, so then you start getting a little bit mad and then pretend like somebody stepped on your toe accidentally. Oh, and it hurt bad. It hurt. So you got really, oh, you were like, oh, you were crying because it hurt so bad. And then pretend like, mm, just like mom said, you really wanted to go out and play, but mom said, no, you can't go out right now. And you just were so frustrated because you wanted to go out. And then can you think of something else that might have happened that would make you sad or mad or frustrated? Someone took my favorite toy. Somebody took your favorite toy. What color are you going to make that? Say that. And how did that make you feel? Okay. Sad. Sad. Okay, so pretend like now you've had all these bad things happen. We all have days like that. Now you can't see because your feelings are all mixed up, aren't they? But then pretend like mom comes and says, Nevin, would you like some cookies? How would that make you feel? Good. So let's put some water. She puts some clear water, but it doesn't, and it helps, but it doesn't quite get rid of it, right? So then pretend like you decide to go play with the dog and you're going to play with the dog and you're having so much fun and then you go in and you have a good meal and mom gives you some more cookies and then all of a sudden all those bad feelings are gone because you got rid of them, right? Because you chose to go and play and do things and so then what happens? We can choose what we want to do, right? If we want to get rid of some of those icky feelings, we can go do things. And you know what? The other thing we can do is we can do this. Take a deep breath. Let's do it together. Bad day, go away. Okay, now take a deep breath in. And let it out and go, good day, here to stay. Let's do that again together. Bad day, go away. Bye, bye. Go away. Good day, here to stay. So we can say those words, and that helps us too. Okay. And then, you know, one other thing in the Bible. The Bible tells us things that help us live a good life. And one of the things it says in Philippians 4, 8 is... Think about good things. Do you think God wants us to think about good things? I think so. That helps. 